Hi there, what's for dessert today? Look at this beauty, crunchy apple pie. The only way to taste it is to make it. This one-of-a-kind apple pie is going to be enhanced with this. Vanilla and cinnamon from Madagascar. Thank you again, Sandy, from Friandise. So first, I'm gonna make the sugar dough. In a food processor, cream butter, salt, vanilla, sugar, and almond meal. And then I'm gonna throw in the egg. Blend well and throw in flour in two times. Mix to combine, wrap up, and chill. Fair enough, this recipe requires some work. So don't panic, just plan things ahead. Make the crust one day and the other things the following days. Next in the agenda, top shell. So we've got enough pastry here to make three pies. Work out about a third of the dough until soft enough to be rolled out. The pastry, though, should remain cool and supple. So you want to roll this out into uh, 5 mm or 0.20 inch thick disc. C'est parti, mon kiki. Work out about a third of the dough until soft enough to be rolled out. If it gets too soft, put it back in the fridge for a little bit. The pastry, though, should remain cool and supple. Since I am using a fancy brioche mold, as you can witness, you want the dough to be a little thicker than normal. Good news, you can use any tart pan you like. Yet, I am just showing you a fancy way to making a multi-layers pie. To get all of the details about it, tips and tricks at brunoalbouz.com. The refrigerator is your best friend. Freeze the tart shell before baking and pop in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius for about 20 minutes. Egg wash and bake again. Look at that, Papa, how gorgeous. Egg wash the inside and bake again for a few more minutes. This is what I love about baking. You just combine a few ingredients together and this is with what you end up with. Isn't it amazing? To follow, let's make the hazelnut cream, the same protocol as sugar dough. I'm gonna cream the butter, sugar, hazelnut, and almond meal, and then the egg. Hazelnut cream, done. Next, I'm gonna bake two hazelnut cream cookies for my two fancy pies. Though, if you use a traditional tart pan, pipe out and bake the hazelnut cream straight into the raw or blind baked tart shell. Next, we're gonna prep our vanilla ganache monté, which is an upgraded chantilly. Infuse the vanilla in half of the hot heavy cream, blend in white chocolate, add gelatine and the remaining chilled heavy cream, along with some sour cream. Ooh la la! chilled overnight. Next, we're gonna take care of the apple marmalade. I'm gonna bring to a boil the apple juice, throw in there a couple of cinnamon sticks, cover and let infuse for about 30 minutes. Remove the sticks, add the agar-agar mixture and cook for two minutes and chill overnight. Next, I'm gonna peel some apples. Peel, core, slice out, cut into batonet, and then cubes. It doesn't have to be perfect. The texture of the apple cubes mixed in the marmalade, as we're gonna see it later, gives a very pleasant mouthfeel. So, I'm going to saute half of the apples in butter, brown sugar, and cinnamon for about five minutes on high heat. Meanwhile, I'm gonna blend the chilled apple juice marmalade. And the secret ingredient is limoncello. Look at this texture. This is incredible. Then I'm gonna fold the cooked and raw apples 
into the apple juice marmalade. Next, the crunchy praline. Mix milk chocolate with uh, butter, praline spread, or Nutella, and crushed cornflakes, or feuillantine. So the crunchy praline, it's going to give a sensational mouthfeel. Guess what? We are ready for the montage. Whip vanilla chantilly ganache monté to medium firm picks. Wow! <laughs> I mean, look at that. This is so good. You can definitely feel a very pleasant aftertaste from the sour cream, which goes so well with apples. This is the full season, by the way, so take advantage of it. This is the perfect dessert for your holidays, and it will definitely surprise your guests. I hope, dear fans, you have enjoyed this one-of-a-kind crunchy apple pie episode. To get the full recipe, well, you know the address, right? BrunoAlbuz.com Please subscribe, like my page on Facebook, and now challenge yourself. Try this out, take a peek, and tag me on Instagram at BrunoAlbuz. Bon appétit, and see you very soon. Mm.